darlings! Welcome back to a new video. Uh, today I'm going to answer 30-ish questions about myself. The idea of the video came from another Lolita YouTuber and they decided to make it into a collaboration video and posted the list of the questions online. I'm gonna go through all of the questions. I am trying to make this uh, video as short as possible uh, and I'm gonna go through all of the questions like super quick and yeah. Let's see how I how I'll do. <laughs> uh, before I get to the questions, I'm gonna shamelessly advertise my upcoming tutorial uh, about making this dress that I am wearing right now. It's gonna be a two-parter uh, vlog kind of tutorial how to make this dress and how you can make a similar kind of dress yourself. But anyway, let's move on to the questions now, okay? I would love to live in Japan, but I'm more than happy about Finland too. I do feel like Finland is a very nice country to live in. I don't really think that I have a favorite brand. Angelic Pretty just happens to have the prints that I like the most, so that's why I called it my favorite brand, but I'm not really like discriminating any brand in any way, so, so yeah. They just happen to have prints that I like the most. <laughs> uh, my biggest fear... Ooh. I guess not re really living my life. Uh, I think one day waking up and realizing that I haven't reached the things that I want in my life would be horrible. It would be... I don't know, it would be so sad. I don't want to die sad. I want to live my life to the fullest and be happy and look back happily my life. I don't really have least favorite brand, I think. Next question. <laughs> if I could get paid from making videos, I would do it full day. I mean, being creative is a very big part of my life and like making videos has really like... I have learned new things about myself and like my creativity, so that has really helped me to kind of like realize and understand the things that I want to do in my life. I would also like to be a fashion designer, but like... I don't know, maybe I will have my own brand or like company at some point, but who knows. <laughs> So the most difficult item for me to ever acquire is the Sugary Carnival JSK and the KC. I am getting them from the, like this year's uh, made to order from Angelic Pretty. Um, and like I have waited for my whole like time that I have been involved in Lolita fashion in getting Sugary Carnival because that was my first ever dream dress and like now I'm getting it so I'm super hyped. If I could eat anything in the world or every day, I would eat sushi, but specifically the avocado sushi because I love the combination of rice, avocado and soy sauce and maybe a bit of mayo in the middle, but, but like that's like... My ideal dress would be a JSK with like a shit ton of with <laughs> with a lot of frills uh like it would be like so extra it would be just so extra <laughs> that's <laughs> that's the dream dress or like that's the dream <laughs> but i'm not really sure if i could just like pull it off that i will just like every day live in that kind of frill extravaganza but like maybe someday maybe when i finally lose all of my sanity then <laughs> i actually received the best feedback pretty recently it was this moment i was in grocery store and i was just like looking at things and i can hear this like a little girl walking behind me and she was like happily talking to her mother like la 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 and then suddenly she just goes like la 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 and then i just like turn around and look at like what's going on and i see her looking at me like 
<laughs> and that was like the best reaction that I have ever received. I mean, I love children because they like really think that I'm a princess or something. That's just the best compliment that I can ever get. I think I have a lot of pet peeves, uh, but they are more like related to me than like me looking at somebody else doing the thing. <laughs> oh, for example, like poofy sleeves like this. I cannot wear a cardigan over it if it's very like skin tight because I hate the feeling when the sleeve just like, you know, scrolls up here or it's like really like, I don't know, crumbled and you can see it on top of the cardigan. That's just like horrible. I just like, oh, I just cannot live with it. <laughs> okay, okay, now I, I came up with another thing that relates to other people. It's about people talking about like textile materials. It's because I know textile materials pretty well. And when I see somebody who struggles with that, I'm just like, so like, <laughs> it takes all of the control that I have over myself to not like, just like, tell them that it's this one so just like oh and i mean i don't want to be rude to anyone like talking and then i just like and you know what it's actually viscose or something like that and like that's i don't want to be that person because like i don't want to be that person <laughs> but it's like in my mind i just usually go like I haven't really been to that many Lolita meetups, but I think the HelloCon, which is Folly's tea party, uh, held in 2019 in September, October, some somewhere around that time, that was really pretty, and I really enjoyed the like schedule and everything happening there. So that was really nice. If I ever won huge amount of money, I would by me and my husband house that would have enough rooms for both of us to have like working spaces separately because I need a lot of space for my <laughs> fabrics and craft stuff and like sewing machine and all that and filming. <laughs> I mean, it's less like I would like to have my own like atelier or something like studio or something where I could just like freely do whatever I do. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm pretty into like fairy K and um, I do like like vintage fashion too but I'm not really like into it wearing myself. I think Japanese street styles, the ones that don't include black <laughs> or like visual K or something like that, that's not my thing but otherwise I think pretty much everything would go quite nicely with my own twist. There are a lot of good movies, but I'm not sure if I have any like specific favorite. I do enjoy watching historically, like historically inspired uh, movies and TV series. I think my favorite TV series is uh, The Outlander. That's really nice. I love the like. I just like the story. <laughs> my favorite substyle would be probably historical. Historical Lolita with Sweet Lolita, I think. Um, I well, I I do I do wish that um, historical Lolita would be a bigger thing, but like I guess just we just need to make it more bigger. So <laughs> it's just like it could be something that it just needs the right people to make it happen. <laughs> I would love to have a hedgehog. Hedgehogs are they're just so cute. Um, I actually just recently found a video from our first trip to Japan where we visited a hedgehog cafe and like I held a hedgehog on my home and the hedgehog fell asleep and I started crying. My favorite plushie toys are these two. <laughs> <laughs> little guys. Uh, uh, these are uh, my hedgehog plushies that I have. This is called Seppo and this is called called Siri. Uh, they're, this is a boy and this is a girl <laughs> and they're like a couple and they have uh, two little hedgehogs that I wore in like in one of my videos on my head. 
but yeah, these are both from my husband. Um, this was bought from a convention and this was a birthday present that he ordered from online and mm, they are just cute little hedgehogs. <laughs> Well, I, I really haven't talked about video games that much. I do play video games a lot. Um, like doing crafts, sewing, uh, making videos and playing video games are like... My life consists of them. <laughs> but I do also uh, draw my diary currently. I recently just found it. I had forgotten about it for a couple of years, but now I'm just really into it. It might be just a momentary thing, but you know, that's what I'm doing right now. And I also write poetry kind of ish. When I'm older, I hope that I will, I will have found a better understanding of myself, a deeper connection to myself. Um, and I I do want to wear Lolita until the end of my days. I want to wear it when I'm a grandma because then I can be just like the cool grandma that just like doesn't give a F about what other people say <laughs> and I could just be like get good. <laughs> but I don't want to be a boring grandma. I want to be cool grandma. I think I finally got out of my Ida phase in 2017, 2018, around that time. Uh, before that, I wasn't really wearing Lolita that often, so I really didn't like, I don't know, connect the, all of the dots and understand what Lolita really was about. This is a horrible question, especially for a Finn, because I don't like Finnish people don't really like, I don't know, complimenting themselves. Uh, <laughs> I mean, oof. Um, I think my friends would describe me based on what I have heard them describe me. Um, I don't know, kind, um, happy, I think bubbly. <laughs> Um, sweet, um, something like that. And a stranger, uh, when I'm out of Lolita, I might feel a bit like, I don't know, a bit mean. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not usually like that smiley when I just go out in public. I'm not like this. I'm more like, like that. <laughs> and it's just like, it, I might be a looking a bit scary or intimidating at times. <laughs> the most expensive thing that I have bought has been the Sugary Carnival by Angelic Pretty because I bought it new and that's like the first ever brand piece that I have ever bought new. So that's probably, that's probably the one. Uh, I enjoyed crafts. <laughs> What a surprise! <laughs> uh, crafts was really nice. I also liked uh, home education, which is basically like cooking and baking. Because I like baking and cooking and trying out new things. Uh, and well, I am currently studying crafts education <laughs> in university. So I have come up uh, a full circle, so to speak. My best friend is my sister-in-law, I think. Uh, we are really close, we have been really close ever since she was introduced to our family. Um, I don't know, she just... We just, I don't know, connect in so many levels that I just don't even understand it. And I'm really grateful for her to being in my life. I'm... She has been so, like, supportive of me and, like, everything that I do. Oh, I don't want to cry. But she is just very precious to me. <sighs> okay. Enough crying. Hua. I actually don't know. I think people might think that I am more talented than I really am. <laughs> and I am actually super lazy <laughs> when it comes to like doing crafts or something. Sometimes I do feel very energetic doing things the right way, but most often I am 
really tired and really like exhausted in a way the truth is that i am actually very tired pretty much all the time yes it does um i have started like painting my furniture with pastel colors just to kind of like be aesthetic <laughs> um and well i just love to create lollies related things like jewelry and clothing and that kind of thing so yes i yes <laughs> i guess i would be a bit like less pastel -y. and i think i would still be doing crafts uh, i was really into like beading and like making beaded uh jewelry and like decorations and that kind of stuff so i think i would still be doing crafts but in a bit different way and yes i actually answered this already in the one of the questions uh but yes uh i won't be wearing bullet fashion for the rest of my life <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video i hope i will be able to edit this uh video as short as possible i'm sorry it took so long <laughs> but there was like 30 questions so you can play me can you <laughs> um but hopefully you have learned something of me and uh check out the other lolita youtubers that have participated in the collaboration in the link down below and with that i hope we see you in the next video bye